Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to learn uh, how to configure Nexus server and the operating system we have selected today it is uh, CentOS release 6.4 which has been recently released on 9th of March 2013 so first of all uh, we will download the one repository called repo uh, apple repo and first of all download its rpm because this is a freshness freshly installed operating operating system uh, might be ww get uh, command would not be there okay so i'm going to install wget get first of all uh, run the command yum install wget get you can download the repository rpm apple repository rpm from dl.fedoraproject.org i will paste this uh, link information uh, in the description of the video okay now it is Installed. Wget is installed. Wget and the link of the RPM. Now we have received. Uh, we have received Apple RPM file. Install the RPM file with the help of command RPM hyphen IVH apple release 68 this is the latest uh, rpm of the apple repo we are going to install the nagios version uh, nagios core 3.4.4 that is also the latest one let's see what happened after installing the apple repo rpm go to the cd etc m dot repos dot d and ls here you can see the two files with the name starting from apple epel so our nagios packages will be downloaded from this repository now install the nagios you install nagios I guess devil I think I have copied that the entire dependency as well as the packages name so I'm just doing copy here to save the time okay <coughs> so you install Nagios Nagios devil devil for development and the Nagios plugins all okay I will um, change this asterisk into the all gd gd double httpd php gcc glfc and open ssl okay fine it will take a few minutes to install all the packages because this is a freshly installed uh, operating system this is i did a uh, minimal installation of the centos if you are already in, already using the operating system or any other system might be these packages you already have like php gcc glibc glibc open ssl so let's see And this uh, tutorial is for the basic information and uh, kindly do not use this kind of setup uh, in the public environment because if you put it to the Nagios in the public environment means the with the public IP means it should not be publicly exposed <coughs> 
so it is less secure in uh, upcoming videos uh, I will also show how to secure the Nagios server but you can use this kind of setup inside your private ne network so you can say this is my first uh, video on Nagios server so one by one I will release the new videos to how to configure Nagios server as well as uh, how to configure the NRPE and uh, how to monitor the servers through the Nagios server. So it will take a few minutes. Uh, and it is 126 packages so I am stopping this video for a short while once it will be done I will be back welcome back and we have installed the Nagios let's go to the configuration directory of the Nagios CD CD slash etc Nagios do ls and uh, you can see some files and the Apache related Nagios configuration you can find it here in it slash etc httpd conf dot d do ls and uh, you can find the Nagios dot conf file here so let's see what is the contents inside the nagios.com these are all by default created I have not done anything so far uh, just excuse me for uh, my internet is not working so it is showing me the wireless problem message okay back to battlefield okay nagios.com okay uh, this is a by default configuration and in this configuration uh, it is saying uh, allow from all means uh, it can be accessed from any network this is authorization name nagios access auth type is basic so it means if you want to reset the password then you have to use the ht pass wd authorization file name is etc nagios pass wd and it is by default there and require valid user it will validate the user from this file same can and uh, this is for the CGI bin yeah Nagios CGI bin and this is another part for the Nagios uh, and this have almost it is uh, same the configuration so it means it is taking the all the auth authentication from the authorization file called passwd which is in it is in Agios so it is by default created I'm moving again back to the it is in Agios here it is if you want to change this file you can change it uh, but right now with the simple steps uh, I'm not doing anything here uh, once we have set up the dashboard I will show you that one also okay why just sorry I will show you what is inside of the past wd it is saying Nagios admin it is by default so the user information who will authorize who is uh, authorized to access you can find it in the cgi.cfg file cgi.cfg file here we have Nagios admin Nagios admin so all the information you can find means about the what are the privileges the Nagios admin have you can find it uh, in the cgi.cfg so it has all the information all the privileges authorized for system information configuration information blah 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 all services so you can read it okay uh, 
now let's change the password because the file is already created uh, we either you can use this portion or not but it is up to you so minus c is for creating but i will do for uh, just for reference either you can skip this part this one now username and i guess admin giving the password give some good secure password if it is alphanumeric password that would be very good and it should be more than seven or eight characters i usually give uh, around 14 to 15 of characters okay now uh, it is set now and uh, you can see the in password file this is the password is also updated great now start the Nagios start now we will start the Apache start ok so now we will see our dashboard of the Nagios server and the IP address of the server is 192.168.56.101 if I simply use the IP address it will show, you show me the Apache welcome page to get the Nagios dashboard you have to use slash Nagios Nagios admin username and the password which we have given now we have the dashboard and it is in Nagios score version 3.4.4 let's check what are the service it is checking ok it is everything is ok and we have found some one morning on one warning on HTTP ok this is uh, to removing this to troubleshoot this problem create one file inside var www html I create one file next.html after a few minutes uh, this warning will go this warning will be go uh, after 90 seconds uh, this is updated time you can find you can see here so it will refresh in 90 seconds so uh, let me refresh once okay so let's have some more information like host if you click on the host it will show you the local host uh, this is an Agile server actually monitoring itself what are the services these are the services which are associated by default and uh, you can find it this associated service in the file go to the etc Nagios and no objects it is in I believe they have done in the localhost.cfg ok I will show you through the VI command uh, they have defined the host as well as the service in the single file services as well as the host group define host use use the Linux server maybe this is a template actually and uh, they have provided the information host name localhost alias localhost address 127.0.1 so only this server there the server Nagio server is monitoring itself it is monitoring itself the host group they have created one host group name called Linux servers. Remember, it's local host. Once you st uh, start adding other host in the monitoring system, you can provide the information of the members like this server like web one TP server like this you can do like this okay 
reverting back to the old config now the service they have defined here <coughs> sorry they have defined the service ping and this is a command method how it is doing check ping root partition this is another one you can see here root partition okay ping let's see others current users total processes and there are many things here oops it is coming once again and again okay quitting sorry okay <coughs> let's see the dashboard well that HTTP warning is gone so in this method we have seen how to install the Nagio server the version is Nagio score 3.4.4 and this is in this method we have done only three steps actually first is we download the repository called apple repo we install it that repo from that repo we get the package of Nagios the RPM file of the Nagios code 3.4.4 version and the other dependencies as well third we have reset the Nagios admin password and in the fourth that the troubleshooting which we have done with the HTTP warning so this is the basic steps this is simple and the basic steps to how to configure the Nagio server easily in some upcoming videos I will do some more troubleshoots and uh, more configuration part so thanks for watching bye have a nice day